So now for the neurological system. We're going to be checking some of our cerebellum functioning, testing coordination, balance, and making sure it's smooth and coordinated. So we're starting off with the gait. So I'm going to have my client please walk normally. And I'm watching for smooth, coordinated movement. You want to see that if they were using their arms, their arms swing in opposition to the legs, that they are able to stay upright without the use of an assistive device, feet are slightly shoulder width apart, and that they don't need to hold on to people, hold on to the wall, hold on the furniture, and there's no falling. So now I'm going to have my patient walk in a little bit of a different way. This is called a tandem walk. So I want you to walk heel to toe in a straight line. And I'm watching to make sure my patient doesn't lose their balance. Uh-oh. Now I'm watching to make sure my patient doesn't lose their balance. Now you may have seen this before in a field sobriety test. Really what this is testing is cerebellum functioning to see if my patient can stay balanced and upright. One thing is alcohol really affects that cerebellum functioning, which is why we do it not only to test the cerebellum function in our patients, but we also do it for a field sobriety test. So next what we're gonna do is we're going to do the Romberg test. So we're gonna see our patients balance in equilibrium. This also tests that motor component of cranial nerve eight. So I'm gonna have my patient stand here with their arms at their side and feet together. And now go ahead and close your eyes. I'm gonna put my arms out. I'm watching to make sure that my patient isn't losing their balance, swaying or hitting the floor. I'm putting my arms out to make sure in the, if they do, I'm here to catch them. That is actually a common test question because remember the NCLEX is a safety exam. So you wanna make sure that you are in the room when the patient is doing this test and that you are there to catch them in the event they fall. Nursing school is hard work. SimpleNursing.com makes it simple. We take your classroom lectures and notes to create a handcrafted study plan with specialized videos and visual study guides that highlight only the top tested need to know key points, coupled with thousands of practice questions to test your knowledge, all neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free today. Visit simplenursing.com. So now you can open your eyes. Since my patient did not sway, lose their balance, or hit the floor, then Romberg is negative. Negative is normal. Positive would be a problem. Some of our patients can't stand independently. And so if that were the case, then you might do what's called the shallow knee bend test. So you would have some type of structure support the patient, usually the back of a chair. And instead you have them bend their knees and you want it to be smooth coordinated. So the patient's going to use my arm and I want you to bend your knees shallowly. Very good. And come back up. Very good. And that was smooth, coordinated. The patient did not lose their balance or hit the floor. So Romberg is negative, negative is normal, and cranial nerve eight, the motor component is intact. The next test we do tests rapid alternating movements, which is another function of the cerebellum. So can you please put your palms down and go palm up? Now faster, 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 faster. Very good, and that is smooth and coordinated. The next way to test that is to go finger to thumb to opposing finger. So don't you take your finger to your thumb back and forth, faster, 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 very good. And that is smooth, coordinated, and the patient is able to complete the skill. So rapid alternating movements are intact. Another cerebellum function test is going to be the finger to nose test. Again, one that you might be familiar with from a field sobriety test. So please take your arms out and close your eyes and take your finger to your nose. And now switch, very good, and switch. Wonderful, so that was smooth, coordinated, and the patient is able to locate their nose even with vision removed. Okay, so next you can put your arms down. The client gets to have their eyes open and they're going to take their finger to their nose and they're gonna to have to locate a moving target. So this is the finger to nose to moving finger test. It's kind of a mouthful. So here goes. So please take your finger to my finger. Very good, now back to your nose, back to my finger. Wonderful, and again. Very good, we want it to be smooth and coordinated, and that shows cerebellar functioning is intact. Next, we will show the heel to shin test. The client is going to place their heel on their opposing shin, and they're gonna draw a straight line. So we want it to be smooth and coordinated, drawing a straight line up, and then go back down. 
We want it to be smooth, coordinated. We don't want the heel falling off of the shin and being uncoordinated in any way. And that shows intact cerebellum functioning. We oftentimes do this on patients who have had a stroke to check their neurological ability and to make sure that it's still smooth and coordinated. You can do this with the client sitting or laying down in bed. All right, that wraps it up for our balance and coordination as well as cerebellum functioning tests. Now for Sandra's question. The nurse is performing a neurological assessment and notes a positive Romberg's test. The nurse makes this determination based on which of the following assessment findings. Okay, let's look at the options here. The first option, a dorsiflexion of the great toe with fanning of the other toes. No, this is incorrect. This is a positive Babinski reflex. And remember, and after the age of two is indicative of presence of CNS disease, that central nervous system disease. Now option two, or the second option, is an involuntary rhythmic rapid twitching of the eyeball. No, this is incorrect. That is nystagmus. And the third option, a significant sway when the client stands erect with feet together, eyes closed, and arms at their side. Yes, this is correct. This sway indicates a loss of balance when closing the eyes. So this would be positive for the Romberg test. And the last option is incorrect. A lack of sense of position when the client is unable to return extended fingers to the point of reference. No, this shows an issue with coordination. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. Alright guys, see you next time.